hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's important video we are going to see what are the important functions with respect to your string that can be asked in interviews and this app regularly used in real time okay so let us get started without wasting much time and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to give a comment here okay so these days what is happening is when you go to you know level one or level two or level three there are very high chances that you might be given some scenarios to solve and when you get such scenarios there is high probability that you might use some functions from the list that we are going to discuss in today's video okay so stay tuned and let us get started here so first thing is string functions are used whenever you are trying to manipulate your data with respect to your string okay so i'm going to create calculated field and the first functions that we should be aware are that we will be using to standardize our code is upper and lower function here okay these are the two functions and along with this if you are using latest versions of uh tableau version remember there is also a function called as proper function right. these are the three functions that we will be using to standardize our case uh, our uh, logic so upper function will convert the given string into upper case so this we all know and then lower statement or lower function will convert the given string into lower case here okay and a proper function will convert only the first letter of the word into capital letters and others will be in small like say it will be like this tableau developer it will convert your case into something like this okay so i'm renaming this as a string functions okay so these are mandatory so this we will use it to standardize our code now like say i'm just commenting this all of this because i don't want and maybe this also okay and if i take my category item and if i drop it here and i'll use category of uppercase of my category so this will convert my category items into capital letters here okay so if i try to bring that function here and uh, drop it here this is how the result is okay so if i use lower function it will convert the given statement into lower case now everything is in lower case here okay suppose i want to equate it with a value like say i want to match a category value and uh, maybe i want to match it with the uh, office supplies or technology like say like this so to maintain the consistency so because in real time what happens is sometimes the cases might be missed here sometimes you might get in upper case sometimes you might get in lower case that time it might cause issues and you might get you know data miss issues so to avoid all of that what we can do is to make to make it consistent across the tableau or across your sql we use this statement and then we convert and we convert or we write it something like this so this is maintaining standard across the code now no matter how the category will come in future it will always be compared with the upper case of category and we are passing a value like this so this way you can standardize your code okay first three important functions we should be aware now suppose there is also a probability that there might be some extra spaces in your data that might not be visible to the naked eye but it is causing uh, issues with data validation your data is getting mismatched because of that so when you are getting that type of issues and you want to fix those things and you don't want them to you know come up in future again then we can use l trim and r trim and So L trim is the function that will remove the spaces from the left side. R trim 
is the function that will re remove the spaces from the right side and a trim function is the function that will remove the spaces on the both the sides okay so you can use this again to standardize your code and to deal with the spaces in your data very important you know thing okay so let us see an example here so i'm taking or passing some one two three four five spaces i have given on the left side and i'm given I've given tableau here and on the right side also i'm giving this okay now see the result here okay because we are using a left side left trim here okay all the spaces on the left side are trimmed but not on the right side okay so now see the difference here uh, maybe if you're not able to see if i try to convert this into length you will understand i'm using length function to find out the length of my string here apply so here 16 is the length okay because we are only removing the spaces on the left side so if i do control x we are getting the same here okay so i'm just pasting the spaces that i've removed if i click on apply it is same. but instead of l trim if i use r trim I am removing the spaces here. This is spaces I am removing. I am getting 14. So from here to here, length of my string is 14. But if I want to remove spaces on the both the side, then I can use a trim function here. Now see, this is the actual length of our string, tableau. Okay. So 3 plus 4, 7. Okay. That way we can use here. Okay. Very important function to remove or play with your spaces here now suppose you want to bring some part of the data then in that situations you can use your left operator your right operator and you can use a split function these three functions again so i'm discussing in terms of uh, pairs so that you can always remember them so suppose you want to bring some part of the string and you know the position is always static and it is always a standard like say in this case order id i'm taking and here we know that first two letters are my country code business will give us an idea or explanation of how the data is going to come in future then you can use left function because it is always a standard first two digits so i'll use left of my order id and how many characters i need i need two characters so i'll i'll be passing that to here okay click on let us command the other two click on apply so i'll get only those two so if i need like say from this right this thing okay so this order number i need then instead of left i can use right because this this time I need order number from the right side and I'm specifying the number of digits we need. So I think it is six, so I'm specifying six. So we got that number. So that way we can use here. So if I try to specify minus six, okay, so it is not taking up any value. So negatives are not possible here in this case. Okay, so this you need to remember, but assume a situation where you want to bring out this 2019 from your uh, field order ID. So where it is somewhere in the middle of the string. So how can we get that? We can get it using mid function, but which allows us to specify the starting position and ending position of the string. So here, where is this two starting? So we have C at first position, A at second hyphen at third two is starting from fourth position so i'm taking mid of four so i need four characters or four digits from here whatever so i'm specifying four here click on apply now you see we got exactly like this so we can use a mid function also to get some part of the data from the from a string so you can use it on your address field to get some part of the address okay maybe to get the pin code of the address from the address or street name or the customer name from that address like that so for all such use cases you can use either left function right function or mid function 
to get the part of the string. Now, suppose you are not sure you know, where that data is, but you know that they are separated by a delimiter like hyphen, then you can use this split function here. Okay, fourth important time, very important thing. So the split function will identify how your data is, what is the delimiter you are using and which part you need. Like say, I'm using split function here. split of order ID. Now each of this CA is one part, 2019 is second part, one zero this number is my third part, like that it is defining. So I need, once you specify this, you need to pass what is the delimiter that is being used in that string. So in order ID, what is the delimiter used? Hyphen is the delimiter used, so I'm passing that. So after specifying that, table will try to divide it with respect to that and from that first part i need so we will get a country code only if i write two i will get only year part from this like this and if i write three i'll get only year part from this so this way we can use here so let us try to specify minus values here here negative values will also work you see it is going reverse way so positives from left to right, if you're specifying negative values from left to right to left, like that, okay? So remember this split function is powerful and here in this case, negatives will also work, okay? So apart from this, we have some function to identify how your string is starting or ending and they are called as starts with, ends with and contains these three are the strings that we should be aware of okay so starts with string or function helps us in identifying how your string is starting or how your field is starting here like say i'll take my subcategory here not the category i want to find out if my subcategory is starting with a or not okay so i'm specifying subcategory comma something like this you see wherever my subcategory is starting with a it is giving me true now in this case even though it is a small letter it is identifying sometimes it might not okay so in that case we might use uppercase to convert this and make it standard okay so even if i specify capital a here it is not changing anything in the result. That way I can use it here, okay? So this you need to understand. If I write B here, only those subcategory items that are starting with A will become true and all of them are becoming false, see. Okay, so same way, if at all you want to find out how your subcategory item is ending, then we can use ends with the function which will detect how your subcategory is ending. So here in this case, let us see if my subcategory is ending with R or not. So I'm spicing, I'm entering R here. Now see only this case has become true because this is the only place where subcategory is ending with uh, R. All others are ending with either s or t or something else okay so likewise again if i try to write uh, t here only in this case it, it should become true all of them are false see only this is true like that so you can use this ends with the function now contains is another important function which will try to find out if if the string has the character that you have specified okay so i'm writing contents here and in this subcategory item i'm trying to see if t is available or not click on apply you see in accessories there is no tree no t so it is false in appliances there is no t that's why it is false but in art we have a tree so that's why it is becoming true likewise wherever we have t in fasteners we have t so it is becoming true all other storage we have T, so it is becoming two. Tables, we have T, it is becoming two. 
so all in all the cases irrespective of where your string is starting or ending or where ever it can t can be at any place starting middle of the line and at, at the end position anything so if it finds a t in it it will give true otherwise false so like that we can use this split function or sorry contains a function to use it according to our use case here okay so next is replace function so replace function helps you in replacing your string with a specified string okay suppose i am using replace okay so in this subcategory item if i'm finding s i want to replace it with uh I'm just specifying it or passing S E D. Okay. So let us see how it is ending. Now see here, wherever there was S, you can observe last three here to simplify. S is replaced with S E D. Again here, because we have in two positions, it has done it twice, S E D and S E D. Here in this case, we have only once, which is ending at S. So it replaced S with S E D binders acd so all are ending with acd wherever you find s it will replace it with acd so if at all you want to replace your string with any specific string that you want to do then you can use this thing here maybe for re renaming purpose and all all of that cases we can replace this function so very powerful function here okay so that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if it does don't forget to give a comment, hit a like, and, and do share it with your friends so that it can be help, helpful for them also. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.